What's up? This is Let's Talk with Rod, and today we will be discussing the emasculation of men on social media. Okay, so this is the reason why I don't pay attention to social media as much as I used to, because I just see the common thing to do and to get attention on is like outlandish, ignorant, or just like stupidity like posts and things like that like you can see some positive real positive and it'd be like a good message or something you might get like a few shares or some something like that you see some crazy shit somebody just saying something just you know reckless and that might help get like ten thousand shares or something like that. i'm like legit tired of it and it's been like this for like a while like i'm 32 and I've seen this trend going on probably for like, I want to say maybe four or five years to where I got to the point that like, I have to add, I've added a lot of people on social media and stuff like that to, you know, network and to put out my own things or whatever. And then as those people that I've put on, not everybody, but I see them like I'm scrolling my timeline and stuff and I'll see them sharing stuff and I'll be like like it literally makes my head hurt dog I'm like dog and and there's other people commenting on it and sharing the stuff or whatever like the shit bothers me so much and I'm trying not to cuss or act you know talk a certain way or whatever but like this shit has got me upset it's annoying as hell so anywho when I talk about the emasculating of men on social media, more times than not, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, it's coming from a girl, woman, female, whatever you want to call it. And more times than not, they probably got done wrong by somebody or, um, yeah, they just probably got done wrong by somebody. So now they're just saying, just saying shit. Like the thing that I should have posted yesterday which I didn't get a chance to, but I saw some more bullshit this morning was, um, there was like, um, a dude with kiss and tell, fuck and tell, and then fuck a man and lie or something like that. Like, bitch, like, do you have a personal connection with whoever did this? I can almost guarantee you didn't. The person who shared it, maybe. Or the person like who initially made it, maybe. The people who shared it, because some of these people I know, and I know for a fact they haven't had no experience like that, or I assume that they didn't. That is another part of it to it. But I come from a town to where more than likely you would have heard about it where they would have said something. Like, for instance, there's this one girl I know from my town who had this happen to where she was with this dude and come to find out uh he was messing with a dude and then i think they had recorded it or some other crazy stuff like it was it was a big thing in my town like i think they end up i think she ended up going viral off of it whatever poor thing so um i'm not even worried about her because she she's got back with the dude <laughs> since then but anywho like i've heard of that and then, like, don't get me wrong, I do know this happens sometimes to where, you know, people be, like, undercover or some stuff or whatever. But if it didn't happen to you or you, like, haven't had a, like, direct contact with it, stop sharing the shit. Because another thing to where it takes it outside of, you know, you just talking about it, if it happens, it is... Like, other little dumb, dumb, like, posts come up. Like, this morning, I'm about to go lift weights, right? I'm about to go lift weights. I got my mindset on lifting weights. And I'm scrolling, which I shouldn't have done. And I see this girl, which I know is, uh... So, a lot of people don't know behind all that attention-seeking stuff, behind girls, you know, selling cat or private snaps or only fans and stuff other than that people are getting paid for the engagement and stuff on facebook like i know this like so if there's people 
at first I didn't catch this. But if you see people, like you know that there was a post made, right? And then you see the post again, but it's um they basically made it their own post. Like they took the words and put it in their own post or whatever. So people do that because they want people to comment and share on it. Well, probably not share it, even just comment on it because one person I know in particular, they put it to where you can't share it. So if you comment and stuff on there, like you get paid for people like engaging and stuff. And I know there's a, a girl on here. She don't do it like that, but I know she starts up um, conversations and comments on everybody's stuff or whatever, just to get people to, you know, engage on her stuff. And I know they get a Facebook check. I would say a name and, I, and I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask him because I know the dude. I'm going to ask him how much he get paid because I know he getting something. That's my partner. And then uh, the girl, I'm going to ask her. She probably ain't going to say nothing, though, because I, I figured out her game a while back, which I don't I don't mind that because they don't do it in egregious ways or ignorant ways. But this other girl that shared what I'm about to say, I know she does it for sure. Like, she on some, she on some whole shit. She on some attention-seeking stuff, like, all that stuff. So, anywho... The post that she shared said, um, any man that will fuck multiple women will fuck a man. How the fuck does that make sense? Please tell me how it makes sense. What's the correlation? You got a man, you got a woman or multiple women, then you get gay out of that. I don't know why the fuck these balloons coming up. So, like, how does that make sense? That's like saying, if anything, you should get a heterosexual man after that. You can say he a hoe. You can say he ain't shit. Whatever you want to say it. You can't get gay from that. That's like saying you have an apple and you have an orange and you don't get a cake out of that. What logic are you making? You get a dude, women, gay. That does not make sense. If anything, like word it a different way or throw something else in it that makes it make sense, dog. Like, cause this shit is bothering me. And I really feel that a girl probably ran into one instance of this shit and just rolling with it. Or she's just not having success with these dudes and shit. And I guess the 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 most disrespectful way to get back at somebody is calling them now which is dumb i hate this is weird or gay like there's no other disrespectful things that like people well i would say it's, it's under a certain age limit but like the worst thing you could call somebody now is weird or gay like, y'all need to expand y'all vocabulary. I don't know where this damn shit came from. Like, the first word somebody think of is, oh, you're being weird. You're being weird. Let's try. I don't like where your energy is. I don't like where, um, how you carry yourself. I don't like, you know, this or that. Weird. Like, that's the only word people fucking know right now. And it bothers the hell out of me. It bothers me. So, anyways, back to this point. So with this gay stuff, and, and I feel like, I don't want to say city girl attitude, but I can say after them damn city girls came out, it's been like a complete shift with how like girls been acting about things. Like they are more aggressive about shit. They more, they're more carefree, which isn't all the way bad, but like they got very reckless now like like they they care less about shit and they just say whatever is on their fucking mind like they don't care who it offends they don't care if it's a dumb thing to say they just talk and those the only two uh things that i can think about off the top of my head about this this gay this gay stuff with dudes like that don't even and I put a post up yesterday about that post when they said they'll, oh yeah, here's another one. Talking about they'll be 
this over here, that over here, and gay at Eric House. So the 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 one that I, sh I commented on and shared yesterday for the comment, I said, y'all, please, whoever has had an experience with this, comment on here. Because at this point, y'all just sharing the shit. And I had people like laughing or all this other shit and all this other stuff. I said, no, don't just react to it. Tell me what kind of connection you have with this. Have you experienced somebody being on some undercover shit with you? Have your friend experienced being on some undercover with you? So, I mean, some undercover shit with them. Like, tell me where this shit is coming from. Because it's another thing too. All these girls that's posting this shit. Y'all out here fucking niggas and shit too. So everybody can't be gay if y'all out here fucking them. Like what? Like what is this shit y'all got going on? Like when y'all get mad at dudes for doing some shit, like do y'all just want to call them gay? Like what's going on? Because I have yet to have a comment on there and talking about. Oh no, I know. Um, I know for a fact this happened. Oh, I caught somebody. No, y'all just sharing some shit. Y'all think, like, and I get there is kind of a comedic, like, thing to it to where it could be funny. But it's not funny because, like, what truth do y'all have to this shit? Like, this shit is bothering me. It is really bothering me because it's, it's people just sharing, like, ignorance. And that's what a lot of social media shit is, like. Even if you put this car bed not back into my shit, I'm be pissed off. But anywho, like, it's just ignorance. And I know sometimes I get I get mad very seldomly, or you might see me going off on somebody on Facebook or whatever, and all this other shit. But like for the most part, I am an intelligent, intellectual, calm person. Like, if you just went off of my like social media stuff sometimes, which I'm trying to get better on. Like, you might not know all this, but from seventh grade, I was in honors classes, high school. Um, I was in, uh, what's that shit called? I was in pre-AP classes, AP classes, all this other shit. So, that stupidity shit, like, it isn't funny to me. Like, I don't like it. Like, that shit literally makes my head hurt because some of these people have kids and stuff, too. And they be putting up crazy shit or whatever just to talk and you don't even know like even for me like cussing and stuff right now like i don't feel comfortable doing that because you never know who's watching stuff you never know what your next opportunity in life will come from from somebody seeing your social media like when i was uh playing football in california some of these coaches they told us dog i gotta stop doing these damn reactions with this damn iphone i hate this damn iphone so anywho uh, like the uh, college coach told us like y'all don't be putting crazy stuff on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that because colleges are starting to look at that and denying people like scholarships and stuff from y'all being ignorant or you know foolish and stuff like that and this this gay shit is just like some dry some dry shit to get a laugh out of or some attention off now if you see this video and you actually had an experience with this, somebody being on some undercover stuff, then share it, say something. But I guarantee, I guarantee 9.9 9 out of 10 of these girls who sharing this shit has not had an experience with them. And I went to the comments on the, the last one I saw this morning talking about uh, if you fuck multiple women, you a fuck a man. And the dudes was on there having a field day with the shit like. For one, talking about this is female logic. Gotta be female logic. Which I'm not even gonna say female logic. This is. <laughs> and I hate to say the word, but I'm not gonna say the other word I wanna say. This is ghetto bitch logic. Which. None of that shit sounds good besides logic on there. And a ghetto bitch will say whatever the fuck is on her mind. Especially when she's what? When she's mad. And this sounds like some shit a bitch would say when she's mad because it don't make sense. That's like saying 
So like I said, we getting men, multiple women. Then you're saying he'll be gay if he fuck multiple women. That's the logic, right? One plus one equals two. The two is gay. Every time these girls are putting some shit together, the two will always be fucking gay for some reason. Gay or weird. There's no in between. I've seen girls call a dude gay because she was trying to fuck with him and she was like, nah, he was like, nah, I'm cool, whatever. Oh, you gay, you gay. Bitch, what? Like, what the fuck is going on with y'all? Like, your feelings hurt and you mad? Okay. But that don't mean just start saying shit like, and keep in mind, I do know dudes do some, do some shit too or whatever, but it's not about them right now. I know they do their shit. And they will admit to them doing that shit. If I ask a girl, why are you calling this dude gay? Do you have a personal experience with something like this happening? No. I don't know because I felt like it. Exactly. You always feel like some shit. That's emotion. Emotion is not real. It could be real in a moment. But overall, when you look at it and you calm down, you're like, oh, you know what? It really wasn't like that. If you calm down, because I do know some girls that can't calm down. Like, they don't have no off switch. They just always on that shit. And a lot of this shit comes from, and these girls that sharing this shit about dudes, this, this dry ass gay shit, like, I just know, like, because it got to trickle down from somebody. Everybody who shared this shit about some dry gay shit, unless it actually happened to them, I can almost guarantee they come from a broken home or they daddy not in the picture. So y'all outlook on men. And let's get this straight too. Not every male is a man. You are a male because you have a, a, a dick and balls. A man is somebody who takes care of his business, has morals. Uh, if you got a family, provide for his family and all this other shit. That's a man. So every male ain't no man. But these girls who are saying this dry shit about some gay shit, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I can almost guarantee they come from a broken home. Or their daddy wasn't in the picture. Or... If that is the case to where they actually was there, the dudes that they've been talking to just all haven't been shit. And the only way to disrespect them or to talk bad about them is by calling them gay. You can't say nothing else about why he cheated on you or don't want to be with you no more. You just want to say some gay shit because you want to. The only thing that you can do is gossip. So with some gossip shit, like, oh, he's gay. Or to make him some shit. Oh, well, shit, if he fucking, if he, like, like, listen to yourself. Oh, if he fucking all these girls, he'll fucking do. What? Whoever shit, whoever initially posted that shit, if y'all see this video, please comment on here and tell me your personal experience with that. Please tell me and tell me your logic. Then whoever reposted it that I have on my friends list, I'm not going to say your name, but hopefully you see this. No, I am going to say this. No, I am going to say your name. I think her name was like Roxy or some shit. Please, please, please tell me your experience with this. Cause I think you did comment on it, but I didn't read it because I was so mad already. I was getting some fucking, like I was getting... I was getting some tacos before I was about to go work out. Then I saw this shit and I felt the overwhelming need. I felt the overwhelming need to fucking, uh, to comment on this shit. Then another thing that goes with this, it's not even just females who saying this shit. It's the ghetto bitches who's saying this dumb shit. Like even with like how I talk, how I speak or whatever, stuff like that. Like, a, a ghetto bitch was, would think I'm gay because I know how to uh, speak correctly. <laughs> bitch, what? <laughs> bitch, what? So, oh, you want me to sound like a hood nigga like this? And talking about, like, what the fuck going on? And, yeah, what the, like, what you getting into? And, like, you know, like, low, like, low, 
what is it? Low vibrant energy to feel comfortable and talking to them, to feel like they a man or whatever. So if I'm using like big words or some shit like that, like anything, like it just, <laughs> it just seemed like anything that a ghetto bitch is not used to or comfortable with, they'll call weird or gay. Nothing else. Because they see hoes calling the dude a hoe. It's not going to bother him at all. Only calling a girl a hoe bothers girls type shit. So the only thing that they would have bothering a dude would be like the gay and weird shit. Like, But yeah, I just had to get that off. Uh, shit is annoying. Y'all stop sharing that shit. Stop sharing that shit. And for everybody who shares some gay shit, basically about some undercover shit, if you don't have a personal connection with it, take the shit down. Or at least say, um, I really, I really can't speak on this, but it's funny or something because y'all don't know that Y'all putting this fucking energy out and shit is encouraging them girls to keep saying this same sh dumb shit. And you don't understand that they got kids and shit too that's going to listen to them. And they going to do it and they going to keep sharing the same shit because it's like, oh shit, I had 150 likes on this. Oh, I had 50 shares on this. Oh, I'm going to keep saying this. It's what? Like, you just, like, on some attention-seeking shit. Uh, you just a attention whore. And that's not even nothing good to have. Oh, and this is another point I'm making. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make this on the, my little preview video that I do. Here's another point that you are failing to realize when you are doing this. If you share some shit that sounds like you got a connection with you fucking somebody... Who was fucking dudes? Do you know? And nothing against nobody who gay. What's up, can fuck? But if you have, if you sharing a shit about somebody, a boyfriend, your baby daddy or something that's supposed to be fucking dudes or some shit, do you know that dudes who don't fuck dudes is not going to want to fuck with you? Did you know that? So why you got this vendetta wanting to call every dude fucking gay or some shit? You have to understand that you are still fucking dudes. And if a dude is smart and actually paying attention to your shit, which most of these people don't, they just look at your shit, like your shit, hopefully just try to get some ass or something like that, and they go about their business. But you're still fucking dudes. And if a dude reads your shit and you actually have some shit like that going on, I'm like, oh, damn, her, her baby daddy was fucking dudes and she was still fucking with him. I'm not about to fuck with her. I know they fucking without condoms and stuff like that or whatever. So he might have some more. She might have some. However that go. I'm not pointing no fingers or calling nobody nothing. But you not even understand what the fuck that's doing to you. What you can be driving off and stuff like that. So the next time you want to open your mouth or fix your fingers to type some dumb shit. Understand that. If you saying that you... Or making it look like you have something connected to somebody that's fucking a dude that's fucking you. Straight dudes is not going to want to fuck you. So, you think about that shit. Like, this has been Let's Talk with Rod, the emasculating of men. And I'm going to be coming with some other stuff. But I had to get this out the way before I went to go lift weights and stuff like that. So, stop sharing stupidity. I'll see y'all later.